if you're not aware, the shoe that I'm gonna be reviewing very briefly for you guys is the OG high top Jordan 1 by Nike. And this is the CO Japan version or COJP as they are known on the market. I actually want you guys to have more of a raw vision. Well, let's jump right into this video. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, you guys, so as you can see, this is the shoe up close. I'm gonna be just talking about some of the materials, the things that I love about it. This tongue has a tumbled leather that runs down the, the length of the tongue into the toe box, which has another textured leather. Now this is like stained, kind of like a silver or metallic silver color, but you see that texturing in it that is not from wear and tear, as well as when we go back to the tongue, it has that Nike Air symbol, which is homage to the OG or the original Nike Air High Jordan 1. The outsole and the midsole are just that plain rubber, but you have two different colors, a light gray on the bottom, along with the white stitching and the white throughout the middle. The boot is made of a like nubuck suede, very short haired nubuck or suede. So make sure you invest in some kind of suede protector if you're gonna wear this shoe. You see the three silver metallic pieces right here on the back. You see some of the differences that are on the inside of the shoe. Pretty much the boot is the same, everything going back to the Nike sign, but they do not have that Nike emblem on the inside. I have worn these shoes before. Um, one time, they actually don't get a lot of play because they are a delicate shoe. I, have, I wear a lot of dark jeans. I do not want those jeans to bleed. I probably won't start wearing them um, regularly until the summer and the spring comes back since we're entering to the winter season. Nothing really big to say. I mean, overall, this shoe is just sexy, sleek. They did a great job of putting these materials together and putting them in the right space and having them accent the shoe very nicely. If we take a look here at the guts, you see that mesh, very, very delicate and sensitive to dye. So once again, beware of dark colored jeans when you're wearing this shoe. You go down into the shoe, it has the COJP um, kind of sticker logo put on the insole. I wear a size 10. If any of you guys want to send a pair out to LSNL, get at your boy. Um, but really, really, it's just a simple design on the inside. Nothing blaringly um, sweet, except for I will say they have this Jordan symbol on the back. The 2001 pays homage to the original date that the re they released and the 2020 pays homage to the return date or the second release of this shoe. I got the shoe for $200 when it sold originally for $170, so I paid a $30 markup. Came in the mail today as well. These are the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE Pine Green Tea Smoke Gray and White colorway, released in two other colorways. So I ended up going with this one. What you love about it, what you hate about it, let me know in the comments below so we can connect and continue to improve the content right here on LSNL. Until the next time, peace.